Hey, what's up guys? It's Arodia here. Welcome to my top 10 video of my top 10 favorite mega evolutions. Keep in mind that this list is opinionated, so if you don't agree with it for some reason, put your own top 10 or just the ones that you enjoy in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get started. Coming in at number 10 is a Pokemon I put on here strictly for looks. The Garnier Pokemon himself, I forgot the other shampoo, but Ampharos. Ampharos is a weird mega because he gains an additional dragon typing, however the dragon typing doesn't really come in handy with him only learning dragon pulse as his only dragon move, it's a bit redundant. Um, so that he only gets stabbed for one move and gains additional weaknesses. And for him to actually really be like useful for like sweeping and things, you need to kind of set up sticky webs. So he's not the most viable in competitive, but I mean, look at his Fabio hair. Look at it. Uh, th was it L'Oreal? I think it was L'Oreal the other one. I don't know what I said. Gun yep, it was L'Oreal. But anyway, um, yeah, I put Am I had to put Ampharos on the list because of his Gagne L'Oreal hair. That rhymed, but um, yeah, and for us for number 10. Coming in at number 9 is Mega Blaziken. Mega Blaziken is so cool. I remember seeing his photo for the first time and I was freaking out. His stats are through the roof. He's actually so good, he's banned. He's, he's gone. I know there's a few others like Mega Kangaskhan, um, Mega Lucario even, and Mega Gengar, however, I think, I'm pretty sure Blaziken was the first one to get banned because he was already in Ubers. He was one of the two Pokemon that aren't legendaries that are already in Ubers. Well, in Gen 5 anyway. But I got the Torchic from the online download thing when, as soon as um, Y and X and Y came out. And I used Blaziken on my team and he's so good. Like, I, am, I have a level 100 Blaziken and I put him at the front of my party and I sweep the Elite Four with this Mega Evolution while I train all the other Pokemon off my party for EV training. And yeah, he's such a cool Pokemon. Um, Bla you got Blaziken, which is already a cool Pokemon, and made him cooler. The reason why he's down this low is because I, I see him so much now that I'm not bored with him, but I've seen him so much. And it's the same reason why on my other te top 10, AG Slash was in ninth place because he's extremely overused. Well, not anymore since he's banned, but you get what I mean. Blaziken for number nine. Coming in at number eight is Mega Tyranitar. Tyranitar falls under the same category as Blaziken for me that he's so cool. Um, to be honest, Tyranitar didn't need a Mega Evolution. Uh, kind of like um, Garchomp. Uh, my steam went off in the background before, sorry if you heard that, but um, Tyranitar, he was already a pseudo-legendary, he still is, but now he's got uh, like a base 700 stat. Um, I kind of don't see the point for it, um, however, he is still used, he's so cool, however, because Tyranitar in itself is so overused, I did put it down in 8. However, it's not as overused as Blaziken was, so that's why he's 8. But yeah, Tyranitar for number 8. Coming in at number 7 is Charizard. But not Charizard X, Charizard Y. I know Charizard X has that dragon typing that everyone loves on um, Charizard because he looks like a dragon. However, Charizard Y just seems a lot better to me in competitive, which is where my mindset is at. Like, um... It has Drought as the hidden ability, and dr all those hidden abilities, or just, um, no, not hidden ability, of course, it's, it's actual ability, but those abilities that set weather up are just so good for weather teams, and not only that, Charizard learns, uh, Solar Beam, with, with Drought up, has, no, uh, one turn, and you're all good, it's good against water types if you have it out, not only that, with the Drought, it's fire, um, moves, which are a special attack based, uh, are heightened, as well as his stats when he mega evolves, his special attack goes high enough as well. And he can still learn all the dragon type moves like Dragon Pulse, um, Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is a big one if you want to set up. Actually, not on, um, not on Charizard Y, Charizard X. But, um, yeah, very good Pokemon. I didn't really 
I know I'm gonna get a lot of atheists, but I didn't really think much of Charizard. Like, I, I think he's overrated. However, his Mega Evolution is really cool. The only thing now we need is the Typhlosion Mega Evolution. But, um, Charizard Y for number seven. Coming in at number six is Mega Agron. Agron is that Pokemon that I just... I, I like Agron. Agron's really cool. I'd always catch an Aaron. I'd always race it to a Laron. I don't really know. I'd probably restart the game before I got to Agron as a little kid. But, um, Agron's very cool. It gets, um, Rock Head. So, and it also gets Head Smash. So, that's very good. But then, uh, you become a Mega Aggron, you lose, I think that's, a, he's a part rock type as well, lose the rock typing, just become pure steel, eliminate some of his weaknesses, I'm pretty sure it does, um, and just become a full wall, but can also set up with like, autonomize, everything like that, and can still sweep if you, if you do it right, especially if you like, baton pass from like, a scoliopede or something, but, Agron is kind of on my list, because I just really like Agron, I mean, there's not much else to really say, it's a favorites list, but yeah, Agron is my number six. Coming in at number five is a mega that I, another mega I used in my Pokemon Y playthrough. This is Mega Alakazam. Alakazam has always been a really cool Pokemon. Like, I don't know one person that hates Alakazam. Like, he, he spoons um, his mustache, I mean his mustache, but when he mega evolves, uh, spoons everywhere, sage mustache, and he floats, and he's got this like, gem in the middle of his head. I don't know, but he, he's so cool. Alec they made Alakazam cooler. I remember um, talking to one of my friends, and I was telling him my Y team, and I'm like, oh, I got Blaziken, and he can Mega Evolve, and they're just like, dude, Alakazam can Mega Evolve as well. And as soon as I heard that, I checked it up on Cerebi. It was true. Sucks that you have to wait uh, post game to get him. However, totally worth it. Alakazam is a beast. He is number five on my list. Coming in at number four is the mountain himself, Mega Manetric. Manetric has always been that Pokemon that I really liked uh, since Emerald. And, um, I don't know, he, I didn't really want to use him, like, I wanted to use him, but I couldn't really, because his stats were not lackluster, or lackluster, my bad, but, um, I don't know, he just, during late game by himself, he wouldn't really do well, unless, because, like, he didn't have, like, flamethrow and everything accessible through a TM, unless he learns to level up. Anyway, um, Manetric has always fancied me, but as soon as I saw him get a Mega Evolution, even though he just gets this giant thunderbolt on his back, I, I still love him. Like, Manetric just... I, I don't know what to say. Manetric is awesome. He's number four on my list. We are now approaching my top three favorite Mega Evolutions. And in third place is another Pokemon I used on my Y playthrough. Mega Venusaur. Venusaur... His Mega is so good with the ability Thick Fat, it removes two of his weaknesses, so the only really things that you have to worry about is Flying and Psychic, but oh my god, Venusaur is amazing. Like, before the Megas and Gen 6 came out, everyone preferred uh, Charizard, Squirtle, then Venusaur. No, Charizard, Squirtle, Venusaur. Charizard, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. Well, because Charizard's uh, overrated as hell because everyone used to choose him, then Squirtle was just badass. And then there was just this uh, bulbous thing that no one really picked because he was just there. But with Mega Evolutions, he has risen through the ranks as one of my favorite Mega Evolutions, as you can see by the list. And um, he, he is my favorite starter out of Gen 1. Um, not to say anything bad about the other two, the only thing is I don't see Blastoise's Mega, his ability as being that good. Like, yeah, sure, his pulse moves are upped, but what really good pulse moves does he get besides water pulse and um i think he gets dark pulse is i think i don't know but um charizard uh is useful but venusaur is extremely useful he becomes this wall he can leech seed synthesis uh sleep powder he can also sludge bomb so he can be your fairy uh wall and yeah he is just very good so my third place goes to venusaur Coming in at number two is Mega Morwile. Morwile has always been that cool Pokemon for me. I mean, I remember seeing it and just seeing it's these two mouths 
his normal one and this back thing. And I'm just like, I want this guy. Wonder what he evolves into. So I catch him, I train him up, realize he doesn't evolve, kind of put him in the box and forget about him. However, it didn't stop me from thinking he's a cool Pokemon. So when Gen 6 rolled around and I see him get a Mega Evolution, I love it. Like, not only does he get the Fairy typing, he is also a badass when he gets the huge power ability. And he becomes so useful. Like, the one thing as well is, like, for example, if you go to verse someone and you see a Mawile on the team, it's kind of a giveaway that that's going to be their Mega because no one runs normal Mawile. But Mawile is just so cool. He gets like these little ear braids that are also his mouths. Um, yeah, I don't know how that works anatomy wise, but Mawile is still cool and is my number two on this list. Coming in at number one in my favorite top 10 mega evolution list is one that you guys may not expect, Metacham. Metacham, I have always loved. I've always loved Metacham, and I thought his ability, pure power, is amazing, but it's kind of overshadowed because I think he's like him and Metatite are the only two Pokemon to get that ability. So everyone knows huge power, like Azumarill, uh, Morwile, you got Diggersby that um, gets it, and everyone's like, oh, these guys are amazing because they've got huge power, double attack stat. Then you got Metacham with pure power, does the same thing, but no one really knows him as much. And um, that's why I really like him. He's one of the few physical psychic types, like besides like Gallade. I, off the top of my head, I can't think of any. Off the top of my head. And um, yeah, when he Mega Evolves, he's such a threat. I really need to breed and um, EV train one of these guys. But he is so cool, so cool. I love Metachamp. And when you go to Mega Evolution, I see these like hand things come out. I don't know, but he's still cool like he's very underrated when it comes to all the other megas like when i was even searching artwork for these backgrounds and everything like that it was so hard to find a good mega metacham but it was really easy to find for example morwile blaziken tyranitar um even manetric and alakazam and it was but uh, metacham is very underrated when it comes to all the other megas however he is my favorite gotta love you metacham that was my top 10 favorite Mega Evolutions. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out and shows that you guys are actually really enjoy this series. Um, if you guys want to suggest what top 10 I should do next, you can leave it in the comments and I will give it a look. And actually, because I'm, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do next. However, I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't really have much else to say, so it's already had. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.